How you doing? It's Mr. Heavily Motivated right here. I want to talk to you about interracial dating. What's your opinion? What's your perspective? How do you feel when you see um, black men with white women or white women with black men? What do you feel? You may not say anything out loud. You don't verbalize it, but everybody has some kind of thought. What goes on in your heart when you see this? Uh, it doesn't make you racist like me because I, I'm killing the cheetos of trying to attack me. Like, I see it. I look at it. And I'm not anti-white by far. I'm just pro-black. And I think that a conversation needs to be had with our youth, with African-American males, to really understand the aspects of interracial dating and cultures and understand um, generational wealth, understand what really happened during Jim Crow, during slavery. We really need to get into it because it really leads us into the future. When we had Michelle and Barack Obama in the White House, it was just powerful. It was dynamic to see a black man and a black woman in a position like that. You know, now if it was Barack and Sarah in there, it could have been a whole different pool of energy. But we had two black people up in the White House that were standing up running America as much as a president can run it. And that gave the black man the power to say, you know what, I can get my queen and my queen and I can go places because you know that uh, a man is only as strong as the woman that he has standing behind him. But in all actuality, the woman is already in front of him because she's pulling him along. We just don't realize that the woman is our strength. So if this black woman is our strength, what happens when this black woman ends up with a white man? Is that, uh, are we losing strength? Is she strengthening him? Is love blind? It could be. But what happens when the black man ends up with a white woman? Is he taking something that could have been given to the black community or a black sister away by taking all of his being and giving it to another race? Is we, are we getting disserviced? Uh, is it just a sexual thing? Do, do you go to another race because it's considered foreign or because it's considered taboo or you consider it maybe better than what you had previous to that? Or is it a form of self-hate? Do you hate your mother? Do you hate your grandmother? Did you dislike your sister the way that a girl treated you when you was young? Did you dislike that so much that you said, man, when I grow up, I'm going to get me something furthest away from the blackness that I grew up around. I want to get me somebody white. I'm going to get me a white girl, and that's it. And when I do get a white girl, I want to bring her back to the hood, bring her back to my home. and be like, yo, look what I got. I got one. I got one. You might got a case because if you go to court, uh, most likely anything she say against you will be accepted as truth. So be careful what you look for. Be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you do. All right? This conversation does not make me anti-white. I'm not anti-white. I, I am pro-black, though. I want to state that. But I want to know, like, what do you think? Because my fiance and I was in the grocery store and a mixed couple walked in. It was a white lady with a black male. And, like, when the girl passed us, like, the white lady looked at my girl and held her black male like, yeah, I got me one too. I got me a mandingo too. It was just the look that, that she gave. And sometimes we'd be out and I see the interracial couples and the male, the black man looks at me and my black woman and, and he gives me a look like, hey man, you missing out. You gotta get you a white girl. This is where it's at. This was popping. This is what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm straight over here. Like she down for whatever. And so this conversation has to be had because me personally, I believe that a strong black male is for a strong black female. And together we can go through any trial, we can go through any tribulation. I believe that, that she understands my struggle. I believe that she understands what I'm going through. I don't think that a, a white woman could really feel my pain when I go home and be like, damn, baby. She's like, how was your dad? Be like, man, they was sort of hating on me, man. I'm big, I'm black. They pulled up. And, um, you know, it was like I was overlooked just because I'm black. I know she could sympathize with me, but she couldn't really understand where I'm coming from or say, like, if the police get behind me, 
and I feel some kind of way because uh, anxiety kicked in. Not that I did anything illegal at all, but I know that my likelihood of, of a bad interaction could be a little higher than if I was white. So I might show up stressed about that, and I know that my black woman can sort of really understand. She can understand my pain, where I'm coming from. She can understand my insecurities. She can understand how to lift me up. She can understand, um, you know, the family structure, how I grew up, my household, things like that. And I'm not saying that, that a white woman is incapable of understanding this. But what I am saying is that I feel that a black woman could understand me a little more easier. And we get to the legal perspective. We got the brother that just got 12 years for having this little five minute fiasco with the white girl. And they met at a bar and went home to his apartment and was in the apartment for less than five minutes. And he got 12 year prison sentence and she said rape, but only saliva was found on her breast. And it was an all white jury. So that's the conversation of interracial dating really needs to come up and we have to talk about it. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about love. I got to talk about loving yourself. You see the picture right here behind me with big lips, African lips, black lips, the big nose, the afro, all that. You got to love who you are as a person. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to let me know how you feel about interracial dating. I agree. Love is blind sometimes. But I also agree, and you have to agree too, that there's some black people that only want to date white girls and there's some white girls that only want to date black men and then there's some it's just everything it's some black women that only want white men because they feel like a white man treat them better and cater to them better and do more things than a black male gonna do so during this whole dynamic and struggle, how do you feel? Where do you think this come from? Does it come from a sense of insecurity? Does it come from lack of self-love? Does it come from um, just this sense of entitlement, achieving? Does the black man want to get the white woman because he thinks for years she was denied to us? So when we do get a white girl, we have this trophy or a treasure, something that we can flaunt. What is it? What is, what is it? Does the... Um, does the white woman want the black man because of his his so-called sexual proudness, his well endowment? Um, does she want to, uh, like say if you have a white woman that's had a couple of relationships with white males and then one day she decides to try a black person and she sticks with the black person. So now she can take the black person to all her parties, to all her social gatherings, to all of the um, events and sort of show them off like, hey, I got me a mandingo, I got me with all y'all want, and she could show him off against the white male saying, hey, I got what you would never have. I have uh, melanin, I have that DNA inside of me. Then what happens when you have this baby? What side of the road does this child go on? You have a child now that's mixed and may not be able to fit in with the white culture and may not be able to fit in with the black culture. The problem that he may not be able to fit in with the black culture because he go out and do stuff that black people do, but when his mom would pull up, they're like, oh, bro, that's your mom? And everybody looking at it. And, um, you know, it's just something that we need to talk about, it's something that we need to talk about with our children. It's uh, very dynamic and very important. And i like to thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning into the conversation. Let's continue on. Let's go on. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if this was even the slightest interesting, slightest entertaining to you. Subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, bing. Stay blessed, stay heavily motivated, and let me know, what do you think? Interracial dating, what do you think? What do you want to do? Peace.